All right. Good evening. I want to start. All the information is preliminary, so make sure everybody's aware. You know, this is an ongoing investigation. I'm not sure if anything new is going to come up, but I want to make sure that everybody understands this is preliminary. Uh, the second thing is probably this is the most important. You know, we pray for the family involved, uh, the victims in this case, everybody, the entire family that's involved. Uh, but also talks about domestic violence, and I know this is Domestic Violence Month, and this is one of those things that unfortunately every community deals with. And you know, at his death, we we hope that the deaths, we hope that there is somebody out there that, if your family needs assistance, you're dealing with domestic violence, please reach out to Sunrise, uh, within Pasco County. Sunrise is a phenomenal organization, and anybody who is dealing with domestic violence, please reach out to them. Um, the other one too is this is an isolated incident. Uh, there's no threat to the community. Everybody's accounted for. So I want to make sure anybody in the Watergrass community or Wesley Chapel understands that this is an isolated situation and all parties are accounted for. Um, around 6.15 p.m., the Pasco Sheriff's Office responded to the Watergrass community. Um, it was in reference to a welfare check. Uh, the neighbors had already told us that the house uh, appeared to be flooded. There has been water that was coming out from the garage and the doors. That's what deputies saw when they arrived. Um, deputies made entry. They had to go through the window because they couldn't get through the door. Um, as they went through the window, they saw a couple that was in the living room area. Uh, the couple was deceased, 70-year-old uh, male, 63-year-old female, uh, which appeared to be stab wounds. But it also appears they were there for several days. Um, inside the locked bathroom, there was a deceased adult male. He was in the bathtub. Um, it appears that he uh, self-inflicted that he died of his own causes you know, by himself. And so that was a 32-year-old male. We believe that the 32-year-old male we know was the son of the 70-year-old male and the 63-year-old female. Um, neighbors said they saw water coming from this house since probably last week, maybe last Thursday. So this has been, you know, we believe that they were deceased in this house for numerous days before we got here to say this evening. But it goes back to the fact, you know, this is a sad situation. Um, we don't know what caused them. We don't know what caused, you know, the son to kill his parents and then kill himself, uh, what it appears to be. But we do know that it was domestic violence. And that's what we go back to. Anybody in the community that's dealing with this horrible situation with domestic violence, please reach out to Sunrise, reach out to somebody, get help. Um, we found out through the investigation that, you know, the neighbors were saying that the son was dealing with mental health issues. Uh, it would appear to be. Uh, through records, we found out that the son had previously been, the family was dealing with him with mental health issues. And that's the other aspect too. You know, the two things that we always keep talking about, mental health and substance abuse, um, those are big issues that always impact our community. And we now add domestic violence into it, you know, it's unfortunately a bad formula. And this is what happens when those things come together and we have a horrible situation. So for the entire family, that have lost three loved ones tonight, uh, we're praying for you because we can't imagine what you're going through. But at the same time, for everybody in the community, I keep reiterating the same thing over and over again. If there's a mental health crisis going on in your family, please find help. If there's domestic violence, reach out to Sunrise because unfortunately these bad incidents continue to happen in every community. So is there any questions? Yeah, it appears to be the bathtub and it was just flowing. It's been flowing for days. Deputies, there's several inches of water inside that house, um, and the, the bodies were de definitely they were deceased for several days. That water had been piling up, but when you go outside and you see the garage, you can see that water was still flowing down there. Deputies were able to turn off that water, but it was coming out. And the neighbors even said, "Oh, it's been we've been seeing that for a couple of days now." So that's what we got the call out today about the welfare check, and that's what we found. All right, we're good. Appreciate it. Thank y'all.